All right, guys, we're in the RC car room. I just got done getting everything hooked up on the MP10E. This thing is almost ready to go, so let's get into it. But yeah, if you guys remember in the video where I just got done building the kit, I was going to reuse all the electronics off of the MP10 that I did the electric conversion to. Um, like I said, I was using the uh, the Tekken uh, Truggy motor. And the Truggy version, their motor is just a little bit bigger than the buggy version. So the way the MP10E is laid out, it wouldn't work because the motor was hitting on the steering. So... But I just ended up ordering the exact same motor and ESC that I was using on my electric buggy, um, which is like a 2650 kV, which is a kind of high kV, I think, for maybe a truggy. But if I have an issue, I can just go back and change the motor. I just wanted to use what I knew like 100% would actually fit. <laughs> like I said, I don't know much about electric stuff, but, you know, I'm just an 8-scale guy. So buggy, truggy, nitro, electric, it don't matter. I'm, I just enjoy them. But I'm learning. I'll let you guys check it out real quick. Like I said, I got the buggy and the truggy on the workbench side by side. I'll let you guys just see them and we'll talk about it for a little bit. But this right here is my buggy. Um, like I said, I'm running the exact same electronics for my buggy and my truggy. Like I said, if I have to change a motor, I will. Um, the batteries are the, like the full packs. I don't really care to run a shorty pack, even though I, I made sure when I soldered everything that I left plenty of room if I wanted to do that. But for me, I just like having... Uh, a high milliamp that way I can run without the batteries dying because it's hard for me to stop once I start running but this is the truggy it's all ready to go and hit the track um, I think the only thing I really need to do is just put the body and wheels on it and stuff like that and get everything set up and we'll be good to go but I got everything soldered the exact same way I did on my buggy and I'm kind of OCD like that I kind of like the fact that they look almost identical But I'm actually enjoying soldering. I feel like I'm getting pretty good at it. So I got the pins up kind of high because I don't want to push them down in there because I still need to charge these packs. But yeah. And I got to get another, get the correct servo horn for this guy just so it matches and looks good. Yeah, just a, just a short video, guys, uh, to get you caught up with what was going on with the truggy. Um, I'm not sure the motor length on this, but if you look on the Tekin website, it tells you the motor length of their buggy. So for sure that will fit on the MP10. And if you get their if you go look at their truggy version, it shows you the length too. I definitely would not go with anything that, that this that long. You want to go with a shorter motor for sure. So anything around their buggy version motor will work just fine. I think you have about a half an inch. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll say half inch <laughs> of clearance off of the buggy motor. So a decent amount of room. Yeah, in the next video, we'll get on track with the MP10E and I'll run my uh, MP10 Nitro car, the, the electric version to that I used all the stuff off of the truggy that I did electric version to. So it'd be kind of cool to get those two out there and run them side by side and see if you can actually tell a difference between the layouts, you know, because the, the old conversion kit, you know, you got the battery on one side and all the electronics on one side. So maybe there'll be a difference I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you've seen the other video, like I said, it's been a while since I got to run, so we're shaking some rust off. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe maybe this coming weekend, um, we can actually get out there and get some running done. So I'll be running the both e-buggies and my truggy, and I'm just looking forward to it. So yeah, guys, just a really quick, short video, trying to get everything called up and kind of get stuff ready for the new racing season that's coming in. I'm looking forward to it. I'm be doing a lot of running with my RC stuff, nitro and electric, eight scale, buggy and truggy. So that's my main focus. <laughs> and you know, we'll throw in some, some car drifting and stuff like that too, because gotta keep up with the car stuff as well. But yeah, it's enough of me rambling guys. I want to say appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching and we'll see you on the next one. Are we going to try to make it into a big jump? We'll see.